Welcome to this example Solid Mastermind training video for Solid Edge with Synchronous Technology. Solid Mastermind is the complete online resource for all of your Solid Edge training needs and support questions. In the next few minutes you will see some short examples of the Solid Edge ST2 update training material. The complete series of training material is available to members of Solid Mastermind. This preview is part of the Synchronous Sheet Metal training and covers the use of the new cutout command in this environment. Next we'll look at creating cutouts in a synchronous sheet metal part. Unlike the traditional environment which has two different cutout features, one for regular cuts and the other for normal sheet metal cuts, in a synchronous model both the commands have been combined into one. There are two ways to use the command. These are both object action and action object. To illustrate these, we'll show this sketch and then turn the model over. Using the object action method involves selecting a single or multiple regions first. This will launch the quick bar, which will automatically have cutout set as the action. The other option available would be tab. To start the cutout process, we simply need to select the graphical handle. The action object method involves selecting the command from the home ribbon and then selecting the regions to use before hitting the right mouse button. In both cases the quick bar will provide the same options for the cut type, the cut depth and symmetry. If the cutout passes through bends, a normal cutout will automatically be used. The options for the normal face cut types are in the quick bar. These options are identical to those in the traditional sheet metal environment. For now we'll undo this cutout. In a traditional model, when a cutout needs to be placed through bends on the part before it is folded, we have both unbend and rebend operations to cater for this. This allows us to unbend portions of the part, place the cutout and then rebend afterwards. In a synchronous sheet metal model there is no need to do this and the whole sequence can be performed whilst generating the cutout on the folded part. During the cutout process, once the regions have been selected, the wrapped cut option becomes available in the quick bar. If we select this, then start the cutout process, the part will automatically unfold any of the bends that the cut passes through. Then once the command is finished, the part will automatically refold. <laughs> 